hey buddy, it's Ovi. Um, I know that you can't really download the app for BandLab on your computer, so what I wanted to do is use the Chrome extension for this, which is basically the same thing as what you're using. Um, and I wanted to show you how to create your own music, just like you would if you had the looper effects like I have. So what you want to do is go to your feed, press create, okay, let it load, and then it'll pull up this, and what you will go over here down to Band Lab Sounds, you will click that, okay, and you can do different genres and moods and stuff, because I know you kind of like different things, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what I would do if I had to do this without the actual app. So I like lo-fi music, however you want to pronounce that is fine. And I'm just going to choose one of these. I think I already have an idea of which one I want to choose. Okay, so you can also start with your instrument, you know, find out something you want to do. I know you like piano, so I'm just going to choose piano first. And I'm going to just choose this one. I'm just going to drag and drop that here. I don't really I don't really care about the the thing, but it's always fine to have it in the same key, which you don't really need to worry about that. Um, let's see. Okay, so we got the piano. Let's listen. Okay, so that sounds nice. Now what we can do from here is because I know you like songs that are really long, uh, I'm just going to make this a 16 bar song. So I'm just going to copy and paste this multiple times, like four times. Well, it, it's more like three, but you know what I mean, buddy. Uh, let's see. Okay, cool. That fills up 16 beats. Or 16 bars. So you have... <laughs> okay, and then it'll just repeat the whole time, alright? Okay, so next, I would probably want maybe some, some bass, bass guitar. And knowing that the key up here is C major, I know you don't really have to worry about this, but it's always nice to know whatever you're, whatever you're picking, like whatever instrument that you're picking, it's got to be in the same key as it, otherwise you have to transpose it, which you don't actually have to do that, the computer will, but I would just say just get the thing that has this, oh, wow, <laughs> that's, that's a lot of, that's a lot of bass. Okay. I'm just saying, I'm turning that down because that's a, a little bit annoying. There you go, that's better. You don't want your bass to overpower anything else because all you're gonna hear is boom, boom, boom every time, like every every beat. That's all you. That's all you. You'll hear, and you don't really want to do that. So, you can just. Um, right click, copy, and then you can just paste it. Would you stop that? You can paste it like this. Man, jeez. <laughs> okay. So you have your piano and your bass. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we have here. Let's see if you want some guitar. Well, they don't really have that much guitar, but let's see, they've got, ooh, chords, they've got chords, well, they don't really have much, how about lead? I 
All right, I'm just gonna drop that in here. If it does it. Okay. Okay, maybe I'm just gonna drop this one here too. All right, let's see how that sounds. You know what? That is really overpowering. I am going to stick with just the piano. Okay. So, when you have what we call, like, drums, or what you would say in electronic dance music as beats, they mean a snare, a hi-hat, and a kick. I don't know if you know what, uh, what this means, but... When you hit the kick, then the hi-hat, then the snare, then the hi-hat, and then the kick. That's basically saying boots and cats. It's like boots, cats, boots, cats. That's basically what that sound is. So what you're hearing is a kick, a snare, and a hi-hat all together in different beats. So a snare, that's the high, high-pitched kind of tss, okay? Well, it's not the tss, it's the k. The hi-hat is the tss sound and then the kick is the boom sound so the kick you can also kind of say it's kind of like bass guitar right and so if you want that all right you know what i'm just gonna i'm gonna move this all the way over here because it'll probably sound better or probably not do that but place it here in the middle so that way you can have a climax in your music right Okay, so now that we have the kick, let's add a snare and then a hi-hat. I don't know why that's not showing up. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, well, that showed up. Yeah, I don't I don't know what that's doing. But maybe we can go to the hi-hats and see what we can do here. I just want to see what this is like. Okay, sorry I'm being quiet, but he's kind of, kind of concentrating, and it's really weird. Oh, those are just really tiny. Okay. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy and paste these over and over again. Just so you can see what it's like. Okay, so. That honestly sounds cool, huh? Okay, so I'm also going to show you one little extra thing, and that is this little arm motion thing. You don't actually have to use it, but it's it's pretty cool in my opinion. So I forgot how you use it, but I know for a fact that you can adjust the volume or the pan of it. The pan means it moving from your left ear to your right ear and it's actually it actually sounds pretty cool if you do it right 
So, I'm just gonna... Okay, just gonna put this up higher. All right, how I'm doing these little, um, these little dots is I'm double clicking, so that way you should know how to do it too. Okay, and then you shouldn't be able to hear these after that. Okay, so I'm just gonna solo this one just so you can see how it should go. Okay, so that sounds good to me because it's you, the the sound is getting more like it's getting higher. So I'm gonna do the same thing in approximately the same locations as the other one. Okay, so you what you're doing is you're kind of making it look like a curve without, you know, actually making it look like a curve. Because they're lines. But Okay. So this should be good. Okay, and there you go, you have a song. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm just gonna name this, I don't really know what to name it, but I'm just gonna just name it Climax, because that's literally, uh, it, it, it's what it does. So, here you go, this is how you would technically use the looper pedals if you wanted to uh, use it on your computer instead of, you know, mine because I'm all the way over here. So, as I said, go to Band Lab Sounds down here or when it pops up. It'll take you here to where you can see the top genres and the recents and moods and what is what is wow and what is for you. Or you can go to packs and then they have them here. The loops, I'm not gonna lie. They're not really good unless you actually know how to use them. Um, but yeah, so that's what, how you would do it if you would just drag and drop. So I'm just going to save this real quick. And I am going to actually publish this so you can see it too. And yeah, so have a good one, buddy. I hope this actually helps you because I know it helped me because I was learning as I was doing that. <laughs> Alright, have a good one, buddy.